We also learned today about uh, electronic vehicles. Now, I'm a petrol head. I'm a fully accredited bogan by the Institute of Sport and UNCO as well. And uh, I don't have a problem with electric vehicles. If you want to buy one, good luck to you. If you won lotto recently and have enough money to purchase one, good luck to you. Uh, this will be the future, the better mousetrap, I get it. But right now, they just cost too much money. But also, if you're somebody who would like to make the change, well, there's also a little problem here. There's not many cars for resale right now that are EVs. So we don't know what the market is. We don't know how much you lose between the first purchase of $60,000, $80,000 for certain Teslas and what you might be able to, to purchase to be able to have uh, the family car. Because, shock horror, people in the real world don't always buy new cars. I know that's weird to everyone watching us from the CEO suite or in the MPs lounge where you get a free car every, uh, every term of parliament, but the reality is that normal people end up, of course, having as one of the cars in their driveway a used car. But have a look here. There are about 120,000 electric vehicles on Australian roads at present, which is a small fraction of the 15 million petrol cars. 120,000 versus 15 million. OK, good luck with this. And one of the auction houses, which launched about a month ago, expects to sell an amazing five to ten EVs every month. <laughs> 15 million registered cars, and this bloke set up a business, he's going to sell five to ten of them every month. And 50 hybrid vehicles, and there are... 1,975 EVs listed in the used car section of car sales. And that's way up from 680 in 2022 and just 300 in 2021. But good luck with that. But, of course, one thing that Australia has been blessed with is the special metals that are required to put together things like lithium batteries, put together things like solar panels. Now, while I know that most of the solar panels come from uh, slave labour in China... Sorry, did I actually tell the truth just then? That's right, but still, 22,000 of them a day between now and 2030, but don't tell Twitter that. Well, one person who would like us to have even more lithium mining in this country is the Indonesian Prime Minister. And Joko Widodo will be in Australia. Uh, he will be here in Australia, I think, from tomorrow. Now, if you don't know what he looks like, here he is riding a bike with Anthony Albanese. Now, I've been to the White House, I've seen how Trump does it. It's certainly not the way that Trump would do it, but what a way to show strength to China. Don't screw with us, because we're two blokes who are pushing bikes. Wow! Oh, I've got to take my helmet off. How's my hair? How are my glasses? Do I... Where's Toto? Where's Toto? That's right, I've always loved a little dog. Have you, Albo? Have you really? Methinks not.